In today's video, we're gonna learn how to fix RSS feed errors in WordPress in three steps. Step one, manually check for errors in functions.php. One of the most common mistakes that leads to broken feeds is unnecessary spaces or line breaks after the closing PHP tag in this file. There are two ways you can access your functions.php. If you use FTP, connect and then navigate to wp-content, themes, your active theme, and look for functions.php. Alternatively, you can log into the back end of your site and navigate to appearance, theme editor, and look for functions.php there. Once you've accessed the file, scroll to the bottom and you can check for line breaks or spaces after the closing PHP tag, but the simpler remedy could be to remove it altogether. The closing tag isn't strictly necessary for the code to work, although you'll wanna test out removing access line breaks and spaces before removing any of the coding itself. Step two, switch to a default theme. If all is well in your functions.php file, your next stop should be your WordPress theme. It may include a feature that is conflicting with your native RSS feed or a layout issue could be preventing it from working properly. Additionally, if you modify your RSS feed with a plugin, your theme could be incompatible with it. The easiest way to find out is to activate a default WordPress theme. Within WordPress, navigate to appearance, themes and click on activate for your preferred default theme. If you can't access the back end, connect to your server using an FTP client. Navigate to wp-content themes and rename all of the folders except the one for your default theme. This will force WordPress to activate the only valid theme. Then return to your site and check whether your RSS feed is up and running as it should be. If your feed is now displaying correctly, you know your theme is the problem. At this point, you have two options. The first is to replace it with one that works with your RSS feed. And the second is to contact your theme's developer or their support team to alert them of the issue. Step three, test for plugin conflicts. There are two primary reasons a plugin could be causing the problem. Your RSS feed plugin is incompatible with another extension on your site, or the plugin you've selected is poorly coded and contains an XML syntax error. It's best to troubleshoot for a plugin incompatibility first. To do so, deactivate all your plugins, except the one that impacts your RSS feed. If you can access your dashboard, you can deactivate your plugins using FTP. Simply navigate to wp-content, plugins, and rename each of the folders. Then check your RSS feed. If it's now working properly, you know your extension is conflicting with another one of your plugins. Reactivate them one at a time until the error reoccurs. At this point, you'll need to decide if you can remove or replace either your RSS feed plugin or the tool it's incompatible with. If not, you can try contacting their developers for a solution. What else can you do? If you've carried out all of these tasks without success, there's probably an XML syntax error in your RSS feed plugin. Again, you can try contacting the developer or support team for help. However, should this prove to be a dead end, you'll have to remove or replace the plugin to get your RSS feed working again. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.